It's been a while since we've taken a look at the smoke monster. We've got the new heads on, the new intake, the new throttle body, but that means we've also got new injectors. So let's talk about updating the injector data on the Holly platform. Stick around. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the garage and today we're talking about injector data updating on the Holly platform. Before we get started though, I want to give a big shout out to ETS up here. Elite Tuned has recently re released their Holly training video series. It's just super in-depth and we'll be taking a look at some of the videos later on, but covers a broad broad expanse of topics and it's a fairly cheap course it's only like three or four hundred bucks it's the, one of their cheaper courses out there so go check out elite tune school and don't forget to jump down the description and use our code to save a little extra money on that but for now let's dive in take a look at what we're talking about and i've got my tune pulled up right now with we're underneath the uh, system parameters and engine parameters. That's where our fuel injector data is at. And in fact, once you get underneath this, you can see that we got system type. We drop this down. There's a whole bunch of different uh, injectors in here already, but probably not the injectors that you're working with. Uh, there's some FIC, there's some snake eaters. So maybe if you're in that realm or if you're using stock, you'll be good to go. In our case though, we are using Dishwork injectors and you may be asking why. Well, whenever I choose a new injector to install on something, I always go out and look at the data that's available. If there's no data available, don't buy injectors from them. The, the main reason being is you will fight and fight and fight to get things to run right, which you can without injector data. You can put general injector data in and, and get things to run decently that way. But if you have good injector data from the start, you're gonna have a lot better of a time. And they have specifically standalone calibrations. So let's find our injectors down this list. And these are the 90 pounders, so 16U. And it's gonna kick us out a Excel spreadsheet that we can open up and take a look at. Okay, once you get your file opened up, you're gonna see that for this set of injectors, there's data for everything. GM data, Ford data, Dodge data. We're gonna go all the way down in here until we can find our Holly data. Here we go, bingo. This is our Holly data. And we've got two rows of data here, one based on running at 43 and a half PSI and another one at 58. We're at 58 with this regulator. Uh, so we're going to be using these lower parameters down here. So let's take a look at what we've got. We've got rated flow per injector. We've got the injector type and the minimum injector opening time. Then we have an off time table. So if we kick back over to our tune, we can see that, uh, come down here. We've got our rated flow per injector. Oh, we're at 43 and a half PSI. That's why. So we're coming up to this one, 43 and a half PSI. And I actually downsized these injectors from the ones that were in there because we were, the ones that were in there are just so huge. This one gets us in the happy range where we should be hitting about 70 to 75% duty cycle on the top end. It'll make a lower end idle and cruising more controllable. So let's follow our data. We're at 43 and a half. We're going to be at 97.82. So we can come in here. 97.82. Bow. Rated 43 and a half. We're high impedance. High impedance. Minimum injector opening time is 0.622. Uh, is there, here we go. 0 0.622. Boom. So we got our injector off time here. We can just go ahead and highlight this whole thing and copy it. Should be able to come in here and just paste it straight in. 1.27, let's see, 1.27 all the way. Oh, I forgot the 050. I didn't get quite everything copied, so let's go 0.50. Boom. We'll save this. 
We've got our new injector data loaded in. We can dump it into our ECU now. And this is going to be the same whether or not you're on the Terminator, you're on the HP, you're on the Dominator. Obviously, it's not going to be the same as the Sniper, but this is how you update your fuel injector data on the Hollies. And that's it for injector updating on the Holly platform. Listen, it's pretty simple, especially whenever you choose injectors that have good data. So that's the key takeaway from this short video that get injectors with good data. Spend the extra 100, 200, even $300. It will save you money in the long run. You'll be better off and you'll thank me later. Listen, don't forget to jump over to EliteTuneSchool.com check out their new holly course out there while you're at take a look at the gm ford they're going to be coming out with a dodge course on hp tuners here soon so don't forget hit up the description use our discount code like and subscribe this video if you haven't already why are you not subscribed like it's free but if you've been watching any of my videos you know it's time to get back to work i've got so much to get done around here thanks for stopping by the garage remember abt always be tuning